The super-fast-acting opioid rimafentanil is revolutionizing anesthesia and pain treatment, and we're going to explore it in depth on today's episode of Optimal Anesthesia. Good, now let's get going. Think about it, you're in the operating room and ready to go under the knife. You need a strong analgesic that works fast, wears off swiftly, and is dosed accurately down to the microgram. Welcoming Remifentanil. The Usain Bolt of opioids, Remifentanil is, and here's why. It's 15 to 20 times as strong as Alfentanil, another opioid, therefore it's obviously quite dangerous. The rapidity with which it takes effect and wears off is what makes it the drug of choice for anesthesiologists everywhere. Let's move on to the scientific details now. Remifentanil is unique because of its ester structure. Because of the ester, the compound may be broken down by the esterases in your body. This conversion to inactive metabolites guarantees that remifentanil's effects will wear off quickly after administration. The question now is, how exactly do medical professionals use remifentanil? The usual induction dosage during general anesthesia is 1 to 2 micrograms per kilogram. Rates of administration for maintenance range from 0.05 to 2.00 micrograms per kilogram per minute when given intravenously. They may adjust the dose to suit your individual needs. Think of it like a symphony, your physicians are conducting the right dosage to keep you calm and safe throughout the surgery. Total intravenous anesthesia, TIVA, which combines remifentanil with additional injectable medications like propofol, is where its flexibility really shines. With this mixture, physicians can give you just the right amount of anesthesia for a comfortable procedure and make sure you recover quickly. It's like tailoring your surgical experience to your own preferences. A focus on maximum ease and security is paramount. Now, of course, we can't have a whole conversation without talking about the good and the bad. Remifentanil has the potential to be a lifesaver, but it isn't without its drawbacks. Particularly with larger dosages, nausea and vomiting may develop. Medical professionals must also keep an eye out for depression of ventilation. There may be slight reductions in hemodynamics like blood pressure and heart rate, but this has little effect on intracranial or intraocular pressure. And it may cause your gallbladder to spasm somewhat, although that's rather little compared to the side effects of other opioids. There is also a phenomenon known as tolerance and hyperalgesia, which means that receiving a large dosage of opioids during surgery might lead to a tolerance for or increased sensitivity to opioids in the future. Our time with remifentanil has come to an end. We've looked at the pros and cons of this fast-acting opioid, including how it's dosed and how it works. In essence, what should we learn from this? Remifentanil is the anesthesia and pain management equivalent of a superhero. You'll be well on your road to recuperation after its rapid entrance, swift completion, and swift departure. Your continued participation in optimal anesthesia is much appreciated. Learn as much as you can and never stop questioning because information is your greatest weapon.